Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw, and we kick off tonight with monstrous news regarding our next Universe Mode pay-per-view backlash. The words on your screen do not receive you. Hell in a cell. Loser leaves Raw. Matt Riddle, Randy Orton officially signed for the main event at Backlash. And it was earlier today that WWE CEO Triple H took to Twitter to say this. Clearly the situation between Matt Riddle and Randy Orton is forcing me to raise the stakes. So to ensure their match at Backlash takes place without issue, I have forced both men to sign a non-compete that can't be broken until April 16th. Triple H went on to say if Orton lays a hand on Riddle, he will be suspended and will not receive a WWE title match. If Riddle, however, attacks Orton, he will be suspended and will be stripped of the WWE title. They can settle things once and for all inside Hell in a Cell. Monstrous news, but ladies and gentlemen, another matchup taking place on April the 16th at Backlash. The five-man elimination challenge to determine the number one contender for said WWE title. Already confirmed for that matchup, Kevin Owens, Karrion Cross, and Brock Lesnar. But later tonight, right here on Raw, in your main event, it is a triple threat affair. Bobby Lashley, Big E, Braun Strowman, it is one fall to a finish. The last man standing will punch their ticket to Minneapolis at Backlash. What an exciting start to Monday Night Raw, and ladies and gentlemen, once again, your eyes do not deceive you. What's old is new again, and quite frankly, Raw is Raw again. And we are kicking things off with a huge matchup. It is a WrestleMania rematch. One of the men who will compete in that five-man elimination challenge at Backlash, Karrion Cross, defeated Mr. Monday Night himself. Rob Van Dam in an Extreme Rules matchup. RVD's own stipulation back in Tampa Bay on WrestleMania Saturday. Before Karrion Cross gets to April the 16th in the Target Center in Minneapolis, he is going to reignite that front, reignite that flame, excuse me, with Mr. Monday Night himself, RVD. But this contest will not just be a singles matchup. After already competing in Extreme Rules at WrestleMania tonight, it's Karrion Cross and Rob Van Dam. And get this, falls count anywhere. This is going to be an epic collision to kick off what has already been a high-intensity Monday here in the locker room. I cannot believe the news. Randy Orton, Matt Riddle, after everything they've been through, we went off the air last Monday with Randy Orton ambushing Riddle after he successfully retained his WWE title against Sami Zayn. And now coming up at April the 16th, Triple H making sure the score will be settled once and for all. Riddle and Orton to be locked inside hell in a cell with the added stipulation that the loser of that matchup will be forced to leave Monday Night Raw. It is win or go home in Minneapolis, Minnesota. What will be our next live premiere event, the WWE Backlash pay-per-view. And again, still to come tonight, we will determine the fourth of five men that will compete in the five-man elimination challenge at Backlash. Bobby Lashley, Big E, and Braun Strowman. A whole lot of meat inside of that squared circle later tonight here on Raw. We got to focus in because we got an epic one-on-one -on -one affair kicking us off. Doomsday is upon us. But will Doomsday be upon Rob Van Dam here on Raw? RVD wants his win back from WrestleMania. Tonight, he gets that chance. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam again fell to Karrion Cross in Tampa Bay, Florida at Raymond James Stadium back at WrestleMania Extreme Rules. But if anybody has taken the fight to Karrion Cross, more than anybody, it's gotta be RVD. RVD was the one who originally picked this fight. He saved Sheamus from a beatdown when Karrion Cross and Sheamus had locked horns a couple of weeks before WrestleMania. RVD broke a kendo stick over Karrion Cross that night, and that was when this issue between the two men ensued that led to their fight at WrestleMania. Karrion Cross may be looking ahead towards April the 16th at Backlash. This may be the opportunity that RVD needs to take Karrion Cross off his game. It's false count anywhere. Kick it off what is going to be an epic night of action right here on Monday Night Raw. Karrion Cross, Rob Van Dam, false count anywhere. Let's get it going here on Raw. 
And RVD immediately charging that cross, taking the fight to the obvious bigger, stronger competitor. Rob Van Dam, a WWE Hall of Famer, obviously still wrestling late in his career, but if anybody is in more incredible shape and is still able to go with the best of them, it's got to be RVD. We've seen that month after month since he made his WWE return last August. Uh, we've seen RVD go one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Championship back in January at Elimination Chamber. And again, he fell to Karrion Cross in a brutal Extreme Rules match at WrestleMania. And RVD has not stopped thinking about that matchup since February 25th in Tampa Bay. Karrion Cross trying to bring the weapons into this matchup. I think that's the same baseball bat he had at WrestleMania. RVD trying to cut him off, but there's Cross dodging the moonsault. I want to thank you for joining us here on Monday Night Raw. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to become a channel member, and the night before Backlash, there will be a bonus Universe Mode event, a special WWE Live event that will feature a United States Championship match on behalf of Friday Night SmackDown. You'll only be able to see it if you're a channel member right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. So hit the Join button down below so you don't miss out. RVD taking the fight to carry and cross with that baseball bat. Taking things to the extreme as he does almost better than anybody. Rob Van Dam, little collar and elbow here. RVD ain't afraid to use the basics to get it done. Any means necessary to get his hand raised here tonight on Raw. As he takes carry and cross to the corner. And down goes the bigger competitor. Follows it up with a baseball slide. A drop kick maneuver there, whatever you want to double. RVD wants that win back from WrestleMania, and RVD knows that Karrion Cross is already, because of that win at WrestleMania, punched his ticket to the Backlash pay-per-view where he has a chance to become the number one contender for the WWE Championship. No matter who walks out of Backlash as the champion, whether that be Riddle or Randy Orton, of course. RVD's gotta be looking at tonight as he goes and gets a kendo stick from under the ring, and right to the rib cage of Karrion Cross. RVD taking things to the extreme. Remember, it was that kendo stick, and there's Karrion Cross cutting RVD off there. It was a kendo stick being broken over the body of Karrion Cross, just like that, that RVD did over a month ago that started this whole situation to begin with. And Cross may have just ended things the way it started, but RVD gets the shoulder up again. Falls count anywhere tonight between Cross and Van Dam. But as we were mentioning, RVD's got to be looking at this matchup. A win over Karrion Cross could possibly maybe in, in the eyes of management, maybe replace Karrion Cross in that five-man elimination matchup. Oh, wait a minute, RVD's up on the apron. I think we know what's coming. Van Dam, high risk, high reward. Vintage Hall of Famer from the apron to the barricade. The leg drop, not enough to keep Cross down, but certainly the damage done. Harry and Cross spot at Backlash may not be necessarily on the line tonight, but RVD is going to make the case to taking Cross's spot in that matchup if he can pin his shoulders either to the canvas or hell anywhere in this arena tonight. Harry and Cross to see a sense of urgency after RVD hit that leg drop here and throws RVD over the top of his shoulder and down to the floor. Into the cover goes Cross. Will that do it? Not just yet. Arian Cross continuing to fight Rob Van Dam. He knows he can defeat Mr. Monday Night. He did it at WrestleMania. Arian Cross only has one loss on his record ever since he returned to WWE back in the fall. That loss, of course, coming back in January at Elimination Chamber against then Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne. The man who lost the title to Ilya Dragunov at WrestleMania. And while we're on the topic of the Intercontinental Championship, also still to come tonight on Raw, the final two first round matches in the number one contenders tournament for Ilya Dragunov's Intercontinental title. The matchup will also take place on April the 16th at Backlash. And while Karrion Cross got RBD Fireman's carry position here. Look at the strength out of Cross and lets him drop to the floor. RBD may have caught some of that baseball bat there. That's not going to help the landing any means. And he's able to get the shoulder up. Late two count there. Obviously the punishment. Starting to be inflicted and starting to add up on Rob Van Dam. It's now or never for RVD. If he's going to get back into this, he cannot allow Karrion Cross to pick him apart limb by limb, body part by body part. Cannot have let 
not let Cross, excuse me, have his way with RVD. And right there, he may have hit that double-handed choke slam. But you see, Van Dam now is the one with the sense of urgency, trying to fight carrying Cross off. Down goes Cross, at least for a moment. Nice drop kick by Mr. Monday Night. And now RVD hitting the ropes. Here he comes. Rolling Thunder now. RVD wanted the lightning in a bottle right there. Oh, wait a minute. Karrion Cross avoided the Rolling Thunder. And now he's got that choke pulled locked in. The straight jacket on RVD. He pinned RVD at WrestleMania. Will he tap him out tonight on Raw? Yes, he does. RVD had nowhere to go. He tried fighting back. You saw that little push there from Rob Van Dam. He went for the Rolling Thunder. However, Karrion Cross had it scouted. And you see Cross wasted no time. Tying RVD up in the straight jacket and taps him out for the victory here tonight on Raw. Here is your winner, Karrion Cross. Well, Karrion Cross makes that two to nothing against RVD when it comes to singles action. And has certainly built some serious momentum for himself on the road to backlash can he survive five man elimination we're back live here on monday night raw and it is time to continue the number one contenders tournament for Ilya dragunov's intercontinental championship coming up at backlash one of two first round matches that is going to take place tonight on the red brand. And here comes a man who knows the Intercontinental Championship very well. Drafted to Raw from SmackDown a few weeks ago. The A-list superstar, The Miz, is here, is live in living color. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California. Weighing in at 221 pounds. The well, the Intercontinental Championship number one contenders tournament has already saw Damian Priest taking down Montez Ford as well as Shinsuke Nakamura defeating Happy Corbin. Both those matches taking place last week here on the Red Brand. Later tonight, we will see Cedric Alexander go one on one with the black heart of WWE, Tommaso Ciampa. But right here, right now, a man who knows the Intercontinental Championship extremely well. He's held that title on numerous occasions, as well as, of course, a former WWE Champion, Tag Team Champion, United States Champion, Mr. Money in the Bank. The Miz has done it all, but he's looking to become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Gold, and it starts here tonight. And he's got to get through the New Day's participant in this tournament, that being a man who's never held singles gold. Xavier Woods is chomping at the bit. Is this his opportunity here tonight? And his opponent representing the New Day from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods is a decorated tag team star here in the WWE. Former King of the Ring winner as well, but he has never held singles championship gold, whether it be on Raw, SmackDown, or even NXT. In the midst of this number one contenders tournament, Will Xavier Woods seize the day, move on past The Miz, and move on to fight either Tommaso Ciampa or Cedric Alexander next week here on Monday Night Raw in the semifinals? We will find out in due time. It has already been an exciting night here on Monday Night Raw. Hell, it's been an exciting Monday here in the arena with all the announcements regarding Matt Riddle and Randy Orton and Backlash and so on and so forth. But let's focus in right now on the action inside the squared circle. The Miz one-on-one -on -one with Xavier Woods. These two men have been inside the ring with each other plenty of times before, no strangers. Tonight it is one-on-one -on -one and it is about moving to the semifinals of the number one contenders tournament. The invincible Ilya Dragunov won the gold back at WrestleMania by defeating the bruiserweight Pete Dunne. Now he's looking for his first challenger. And who that will be, we will find out over these next few weeks. Ilya Dragunov will be waiting come April the 16th at the Target Center in Minneapolis at Backlash. And here comes Xavier Woods. Nice bulldog there by Woods. Of course, we will see the New Day's Big E in action later tonight in your main event as it is going to be a monstrous triple threat affair. One fall to a finish. 
Big E, the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman, and the almighty Bobby Lashley. The winner of that will take spot four of five in the five-man elimination challenge after Backlash to determine the WWE Champion's number one contender. Championship opportunities certainly earned around these parts. Wins and losses matter every time that bell rings. And both of these men are looking for a W here tonight as Xavier Woods hangs the Miz up in the top rope. Simple yet effective maneuver out of Xavier Woods. And now, nice neck breaker there. Woods not going high risk, high reward just yet. And taking his time against the Miz, looking to build some momentum, inflict some punishment on the former Intercontinental Champion. It's a nice maneuver there. Oh, wait a minute, the Miz, you see how he popped the legs up, dragged Woods down to the canvas, trying to steal one, but not just yet. The Miz is a decorated superstar here in the WWE. They don't call him an A-list superstar for no reason. Whether you like the Miz's attitude or not, he is certainly, well, I guess you could argue some of them, but certainly earned every accolade one way or another here in the WWE. And here comes Xavier Woods to the outside. Woods don't give a damn where you come from or where you've been. He's focused on bringing some gold to the New Day locker room, and it starts here tonight. To the outside, to the floor, and the Miz is certainly worse for wear right now as Xavier Woods has turned the pressure cooker up. Miz has got to be feeling it off this offense. Woods sending Miz back inside the squared circle. New Day's Woods coming in. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Miz trying to steal one here. And obviously the Miz feeling a little bit of a sense of urgency not watching his ring awareness. Xavier Woods able to escape. And now the Miz is the one goading Xavier Woods back into the ring. You're not going to get into the mind of somebody who has been around this business almost as long as the Miz has. Oh, wait a minute, look at this. Woods cradles up the Miz. Thought he was going to go for a cover there. But damage certainly done. To the Miz is Woods pulling. I think this is why he didn't go for the cover. Miz too close to the ropes, trying to make sure he doesn't make the same mistake as the Miz. Into the cover. Almost had him there, but the Miz gets the shoulder up. The Miz started out this matchup on top, but Xavier Woods has taken the driver's seat, and he has not slid over ever since. Is Xavier Woods just more hungry than the Miz? Again, The Miz has been the Intercontinental Champion, has been the United States Champion, the WWE Champion. Multiple reigns with the tag team titles, but Xavier Woods has never held singles gold on any brand here in the WWE. He sees this opportunity as the chance to finally become the Intercontinental Champion if he can make his way through three, three rounds, excuse me, of this tournament and fight Ilya Dragunov at Backlash. Miz, of course, trying to make sure that that does not happen on his accord. Miz wants another run with the gold he has held on numerous occasions. Xavier Woods is down and out, and here's the ground and pound from the Miz. You may not like the Miz, you may not love the Miz. Hell, you may hate the Miz, but no matter how you feel, you got to respect them. He gets it done inside of the ring, and now Miz, we're going to pass out Xavier Woods here. A bit of a sleeper hold. Woods is struggling for position. Oh, wait a minute. There's a way to break the hold. Break the jaw of the opponent. That'll work. Miz is dazed and confused. Woods off the springboard, but Miz lying in wait there and letting Woods crash on the canvas. The Miz stays in the driver's seat. And he's got Xavier Woods on the passenger side. Now driving the knee into the back of the neck, and the Miz is feeling his own work here tonight on Monday Night Raw. It's the Miz's first match back on the red brand ever since getting drafted from Friday Night SmackDown a few weeks ago. He's looking to return to Raw and make an impact tonight. As this thing gets taken to the outside, but Miz dodging. Looks like Woods was going for a knee there. Miz having none of it. Who is going to face off against Cedric Alexander or Tommaso Ciampa next week on Raw? Of course, we will have that matchup later tonight, which will be our final first-round match in this number one contenders tournament. Oh, no. Miz is down and out. Miz is on spaghetti legs. Xavier Woods is in the corner. Woods house of fire right now. Look at that springboard lariat. The Miz had no idea what was coming. You saw the spaghetti legs. You saw the stars in the eyes. Woods may have knocked down his opponent for good. That'll do it. 
Xavier Woods is moving on to the second round of the number one contenders tournament on the road to backlash. Xavier Woods taking the fight to the Miz tonight. Miz had no answer for Woods' offense. And as we mentioned, as he was making his way to the ring, Xavier Woods certainly seizing the day here tonight on Raw. Here is your winner, Xavier Woods. So Woods moves on. He will be in action next week here on Raw, but who will he face off against? Will it be Tommaso Ciampa? Will it be Cedric Alexander? We find out later tonight. Well, the action continues here tonight on Raw as Kevin Owens warms up before Backlash as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Cameron Grimes, plus in the women's division, Liv Morgan, set to go one-on-one -on -one with Lacey Evans. The results of those contests see Kevin Owens getting the victory, of course, with Sami Zayn in his corner. A little momentum in that corner after Sami's loss last week, and then Liv Morgan finds herself in the victory column against Lacey Evans. Could she be a future challenger for Asuka's WWE Women's Championship? It is time to determine who will fight Xavier Woods next week on Raw in the number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental title. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Well, here is a man who has been on a career resurgence ever since the Hurt Business was broken up back in November. Cedric Alexander may have not have found himself in the victory column for quite a bit here on Raw, but we have seen him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of them. Rob Van Dam on two occasions, absolutely pushing Mr. Monday Night to the limit. We've seen him go one-on-one -on -one with Pete Dunne. We've seen him go one-on-one -on -one with Randy Orton against Omos. Cedric brings the fight to every opponent, and will this opportunity be Cedric's time to finally get his hand raised and possibly find himself in future contention for championship gold. Here's a man who is absolutely pissed off and ready to hurt somebody. And his opponent from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. It's as if you let a hungry lion out of his cage. Tommaso Ciampa, the last time we saw him inside the squared circle was on WrestleMania Sunday, when him and Johnny Gargano lost the tag team gold to Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. And then just to add salt into the wounds, Johnny Gargano getting drafted to SmackDown, leaving Tommaso Ciampa all alone here on Monday Night Raw. However, the Blackheart, no stranger to being in singles competition, as you remember, late last year, he was the Intercontinental Champion in his own right. So here we go. We are kicking things off hot and heavy between Cedric Alexander and Tommaso Ciampa tonight on Raw. The winner of this matchup will fight Xavier Woods next week in the semifinals. And Cedric looking for an early victory on Tommaso Ciampa. Ciampa gets the shoulder up. Again, Cedric has pushed Randy Orton and Pete Dunne, RVD, to their absolute limits in recent months. And looking to score the quick victory over Ciampa, not just yet again. On the flip side, Tommaso Ciampa, first time he's in action since losing his gold at WrestleMania. Wait a minute, Cedric Alexander. He has had his foot on the gas ever since the bell rang. And Cedric over the top rope and down to the floor. Down goes Ciampa. Cedric Alexander throwing caution in the wind tonight. Cedric wants that opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship. He wants it more than anything. Tommaso Ciampa trying to cut off his momentum, but there's Alexander from the top rope. Stacking Ciampa up into the cover, not just yet. Cedric has had his foot on the gas ever since the bell rang. Pedal to the metal for this young man tonight. Tommaso Ciampa, however, trying to slow down his opponent and trying to wrestle a Blackheart style of matchup here. Oh, wait a minute, Ciampa. There's the kick. Oh, no! Ciampa looking to put the exclamation point on this matchup early. Into the cover, but Cedric Alexander gets a shoulder up at two, and this thing was almost over with in a hurry. And what a matchup this has been since the opening bell. This thing is, what, about a minute, maybe two minutes into this thing, and Cedric Alexander, Tommaso Ciampa taking the fight to each other here tonight on Raw. 
This is what championship gold is all about. Opportunities don't come around often. And in the midst of this number one contenders tournament, nobody wants to see the chance slip through their fingers. Champa taking the fight to the outside of the ring. Grounded and pounded on Cedric Alexander. Alexander's got to get focused here. He's got to bring the fight back to Champa as he was in the early going. But on the other hand, you don't want to exhaust yourself. And Champa may have caught Cedric Alexander as the tank was near an A. Don't count out Cedric. He has got the heart of a fighter. He has proved that week after week here on Monday Night Raw as he goes over the top rope again and a cross body to the outside. Cedric wants to bring Raw into an age of Alexander once again. And it could start here tonight against Tommaso Ciampa. Nice snap suplex on the black heart. Alexander wants this more than anything, but Tommaso Ciampa, that cold-hearted son of a bitch, a former Intercontinental Champ in his own right, is looking to bounce back after that tag team loss at WrestleMania, wants to smell gold again. Cedric may have gotten the shoulder up there, but you know Ciampa is not going to stop until Cedric is being stretchered out of this arena. That's always been the mindset of Tommaso Ciampa. Remember how he returned and debuted, I should say, on the main roster late last year, ambushing then Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne week after week, even threw Pete Dunne off the stage at one point. Tommaso Ciampa will do absolutely anything possible to be a champion here in WWE. As Cedric goes to the top rope, he may be saying the same about him, but Ciampa looking to avoid anything that Alexander had in mind. And that went to the cover to move on to the semifinals next week. No! Xavier Woods already had a hard-fought matchup against The Miz. But I'm sure he has reset his focus on this matchup. Watching from the far, watching from backstage, looking to see who he's going to fight inside that very ring next week here on Raw. And this has been back and forth here as Cedric takes down Ciampa with an A. Only one man can move on to the semifinals, and these guys have been fighting tooth and nail since we heard the bell rung. Alexander, a couple of knees there, follows it up with the elbow drop. Alexander is looking good in this match. Champa stuck into the corner there. Alexander looking to cut him in half, taking the fight to the rib cage. This has been a fight of all fights if I ever saw one. If you needed any more example of what just the opportunity to fight for the Intercontinental title stands for, look no further than this matchup. Alexander with a brain buster on Tommaso Ciampa. Will that do it? Not just yet as Ciampa scratches the shoulder off the canvas and lives to fight another moment in this contest. What a match we are witnessing here tonight on Raw. As Champa goes low again, has got Alexander up, and Alexander eats the knees for the second time in this bout. And Champa surprisingly not going for the cover, heading to the top rope, was looking for a knee drop there, miscalculates it a little bit, but you see Champa understands his mistake and is already back on the offense. It's one of the things that makes Tommaso Champa so dangerous inside of the squared circle. He went for a simple strike that time, not enough to put Alexander away. That misstep off the middle buckle may have cost Champa there. Sending Alexander over the top. Nope, there's a counter by Cedric. Back into the ring comes Cedric. Champa looking to cut him off. Champa, fireman's carry position. Down goes Alexander. And that's got to do it. Tommaso Ciampa's moving on to the semis, but don't count out Cedric Alexander. The heart, the soul, the intestinal fortitude to keep fighting in this matchup as Ciampa looks to knock all the life out of his opponent tonight. And will that do it? No, not even a one count. Cedric Alexander's getting fired up. Alexander's coming unglued. Super kick. But Ciampa, there's a counter by the Blackheart. Looking to make sure Cedric cannot get going once again in this matchup, and there's an elbow. Cedric Alexander may have exhausted himself. The tank may be running on E, and Tommaso Ciampa may be about to coast to the semifinals of the Intercontinental Championship number one contenders tournament, but there's a counter by Cedric. Oh, he's got Ciampa all wrapped up again, and down he goes into the bridge. Will that do it? No, as Cedric 
not able to put Champa away. The crowd, an absolute appreciation of the back and forth matchup we are witnessing right now as Alexander dodge, dodge in an elbow. Cedric is keeping his eyes locked on the opponent and the black cart may be going down swinging tonight. Lombard check. Champa's done. That'll do it. Cedric Alexander, you want to talk about a hard fought victory. Tooth and nail all the way to the finish line. Cedric Alexander defeats Tommaso Champa, and he is on his way to next week's role to battle Xavier Woods in the semifinals of this very number one contenders tournament. What a match here tonight on the Red Brand. Cedric Alexander. We have watched the rise of Cedric Alexander for months here on Raw, and that was a victory months in the making for that young man. And there you see the updated bracket. The semifinals are set. Next week, Damian Priest goes one-on-one -on -one with Shinsuke Nakamura. And after the results of tonight, Xavier Woods set to go one-on-one -on -one with Cedric. Wait a minute, what the hell? What the hell is going on backstage? Ladies and gentlemen, that that's Solo Sokoa. The former NXT North American champion who was drafted to Raw is ambushing the WWE champion, Matt Riddle. What the hell is going on? These guys ain't even up. These guys are up on a ledge. I don't, I don't know what's going on. We need some help back there to separate these two. Why the hell is Solo Sokoa after, oh shit. Oh my, Riddle almost went down there. That, that barrier has been undone. Oh. Guys, we need some help back there. We need some help back there. I don't know what Soul Sokoa's got in mind, what he's even doing in the building here tonight, and why he's, holy! Oh. We need some help back there right now. Riddles, we need... right, Are we back? Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the delay, but next week here on Monday Night Raw, Sheamus and Seth Rollins set to go one-on-one -on -one in a backlash qualifying matchup for the five-man elimination. I, I apologize. I'm still in just disbelief of, of what we just saw. I hope we get an update on the WWE Champion before night's end, but I don't know what to say. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Sheriff's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. I, I don't mean to dictate from what we are about to witness. This is going to be a hell of a triple threat match, and we will lock in in moments. But what we just saw moments ago, Solo Sokoa. The former NXT North American champion who was drafted to Monday Night Raw a few weeks ago, evidently ambushing the WWE champion Matt Riddle backstage and how they got on that ledge and how we got here, I, I have no idea, but we just saw Riddle take a, I don't even know, a 12-foot fall? Uh, we need an update, uh, hopefully. I, I don't know. And his opponents, first representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E. Big E makes his way to the ring, but again, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you saw it firsthand, Riddle taking that fall and, and crashing right through that, that glass light, and you saw the fire it works, if you will, just the explosion and Riddle just falling down to the, the concrete afterwards in absolute pain. I just, I, Riddle's got hell in the cell coming up in, in a matter of weeks and God only knows what condition he's gonna be in. Uh, I don't know, hopefully we get some more info, but let, let's try to lock in ladies and gentlemen, big main event here on Raw. And from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. Bobby Lashley. 
Well, nonetheless, it is certainly a big fight feel in your main event. Coming up at Backlash, we will witness a five-man elimination match to determine the future number one contender for the WWE Championship. Already signed to that matchup, Kevin Owens, Karrion Cross, and the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. Those three men awarded spots in that match after they were all victorious at WrestleMania. Two qualifying matches set to take place next week here on Raw, Seth Rollins and Sheamus. The winner will take the fifth spot in that matchup, but right here tonight we'll decide number four of five in that elimination contest. The almighty Bobby Lashley, another man, along with Braun Strowman, both drafted to Raw in the midst of the WWE draft a few weeks ago and immediately finding themselves with a huge opportunity to move on to the Backlash pay-per-view and be a part of that epic five-man elimination battle. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is main event time. Big E, Lashley, Braun Strowman, a whole lot of muscle. It's a horse fight in your main event. And it's one fall to a finish. Bobby Lashley coming off that epic matchup with Walter, now known as Gunther, for the United States Championship at a WrestleMania. Lashley held the gold on SmackDown from December 21st all the way to February 26th, a dominating reign for Lashley over those few months. It fell to Imperium's ring general at WrestleMania. The United States Championship now behind Lashley. New opportunity on the horizon in the midst of this triple threat matchup tonight. Could find his way to backlash with a possible opportunity at the WWE title on the line. Ron Strowman, of course, joining Monday Night Raw in the draft as well. He, of course, returned to WWE on SmackDown in the lead up to the Royal Rumble back in December. Haven't really seen Braun get his feet wet too much. This could be the opportunity that the monster among monsters may be looking for. Of course, you got Big E in there, former champion in his own right. It's been a while since Big E has found himself in the main event. This could be the opportunity that Big E has been searching for to challenge for the WWE Championship, to be in the ring with main event caliber superstars like himself. We'll find out in due time who's going to be the last man standing and who moves on to Backlash. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize for a little bit of lack of enthusiasm in this triple threat matchup. I can't help but feel concerned after what we just saw moments ago backstage. And your WWE Champion, Matt Riddle, the man who we saw defeat Randy Orton at WrestleMania and no holds barred, the same man who will step inside hell in a cell in a loser leaves Raw WWE title match against Randy Orton at Backlash just weeks away ambushed by Solo Sokoa and Riddle taking that I don't even know a 12 maybe maybe even higher foot fall through that light fixture and just falling to the concrete afterwards and I uh, hopefully we, we get an update on Matt Riddle before night's end if not we will certainly touch on it next week here on Raw. I just hope Matt Riddle's going to be good to go for defending his WWE title inside Hell in the Cell versus Randy Orton. Of course, Riddle retained the title last week here on Raw against Sami Zayn, and after the matchup was ambushed by the Apex Predator Randy Orton and put through a table right in the middle of that ring, so Riddle's certainly got to be feeling not only nagging injuries from last week, but God only knows the condition of the WWE Champion after what we just witnessed. Let's just try to lock in, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the midst of your main event here tonight on Raw. Regardless of what happened in the locker room area, it has been a hell of a night of action inside of that squared circle. Karrion Cross, the man who will compete on April the 16th at Backlash, defeating Rob Van Dam for the second time in Falls Count Anywhere. And then, of course, we witnessed two great semi excuse me, first round matches in the number one contenders Intercontinental title tournament. And we now know next week here on Raw, it's going to be Xavier Woods taking on Cedric Alexander as well as Damian Priest taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. The winners of those matches will meet each other on the go-home Raw before Backlash, and the winner of that match will meet Ilya Dragunov in Minneapolis on April the 16th. Well, Strowman right now throwing haymakers. Big E taking down Strowman. This has been a heavy battle between these three men. A horse fight if I ever saw one. A whole lot of power, a whole lot of muscle, and a whole lot of meat inside of that squared circle. It's Big E, look at this. Speaking of muscle, muscling up the almighty Bobby Lashley over his head. Lashley avoids whatever Big E had in mind, and Braun takes him down instead. 
see it's just been absolute chaos since the opening bell. Nobody's really had the advantage for long periods of time, and it's hard to certainly get a, get the advantage not only in a triple threat matchup, but when you're going against two other competitors, no matter which way you look at it, who are as monstrous as these three men. Big E takes down Strowman, now going after the almighty Bobby Lashley. These two men have had battles in the past. Nice big belly to belly suplex by the big man. The New Day already having some success here tonight as Xavier Woods defeated The Miz. Will Big E be next on that list to pick up a victory? Into the cover he goes on Braun Strowman, and Strowman gets the shoulder up at two. Or excuse me, at one. Lashley to his feet, and now face first goes Big E, and Lashley taking down Braun Strowman with quite possibly the heaviest clothesline I've ever seen. Now here comes the Almighty trying to rule the ring. Again, dominated SmackDown as the United States Champion with victories over Finn Balor and Shinsuke Nakamura and Jeff Hardy. Mustafa Ali fell to Gunther at WrestleMania and now a new leash on his career here on Monday Night Raw. Now Braun Strowman back on top of this matchup. Not many men are going to be able to pick Big E up, press them above their head and slam them into the canvas, but the monster among monsters, certainly a man who can do just that. Oh no, running power slam by Strowman, and Lashley going to make sure Strowman cannot capitalize off that offensive maneuver. Now Bobby Lashley looking to take over here. Big E down, feeling the effects from that power slam, and Lashley now stomping a mud hole in the heart of the New Day's big competitor as Lashley throwing his body, taking out Strowman. Big E still down. The almighty Lashley has got his eyes locked on the monster among monsters here. Could be looking for one of the biggest hurt locks I've ever seen. Lashley doesn't even have it locked in all the way, but the pressure is still enough. Braun Strowman taps out, ladies and gentlemen. Big E got to his feet, but he got to his feet too late. And Bobby Lashley locking in the hurt lock to at least the best of his abilities. And Braun Strowman not able to break the hold. He taps out. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Strowman taps out, and Lashley finds himself in spot number four of five. Five-man elimination matchup to determine the number one contender for the WWE title. Lashley, Cross, Kevin Owens, and Brock Lesnar. One spot remains, and that will be determined next Monday night between Seth Rollins and Sheamus when those two men lock horns here on the red brand. Thank you for joining us for an absolute roller coaster of a night here on Monday. Night Raw, we will see you this Friday for SmackDown when the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre battles Chad Gable of Alpha Academy. Good night, everybody. Hey, song when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.